What's up, y'all? This is My Wife, Season 5, Episode 7, and the link to the full episode is down below in the description box. So, y'all, first 1K subscriber gift giveaway, you must like, share, and subscribe. Alright, y'all, let's get into this mess of My Wives. So, first off, it's Miss um, Big Ange and Natalie. Natalie G, old rattly ass. They're out walking or whatever, walking their dogs, and Big Ange tells Natalie about the whole boat ride incident. She tells her that her and Renee made up. Natalie's like, oh, okay, that's good. I'm like, whatever, bitch. And then Big Ange was like, but what turned on us was Karen. You know, she said that you have been going on, you know, Twitter and talking about how she's a deadbeat mother and, you know, just disrespecting her and her daughter. And she going to say some. Natalie is like, let me tell you the whole story. So she's like, uh, you know, a while back or whatever, I go on Twitter and... Karen had taken, hacked my mother's Facebook profile. My mother was so pissed. She took a picture of me from grade school and posted and was like, yeah, I heard you got bullied. And I'm like, really, Natalie, you just be pulling lies out your ass, girl. You quick on the feet, though. I will give you that. You real quick. And Big Andrew's like, oh, oh, okay. And she was like, but Karen said that, she wants me to, you know, she wants us to take you to her. And she was like, I'm not going to her. You know what? Tell her I'll send her a car. Therefore, she can come and see me. <sighs> Whatever. So, anyways, Karen ended up setting up this, you know, kind of like housewarming poker party. So, it's Drita, Big Ange, Renee, um... The other chick, Natalie, from Philly, Natalie D, she was invited, and one of uh, Karen's other friends, or a couple of Karen's other friends, and they all having fun or whatever. Drita's like, yeah, you know, I love, I love playing poker. Karen brings up, you remember when my grandmother robbed us playing poker? She was just cheating, and then they all, like, have a good, I'm like, yes, that's what I want to see, them talking shit. You know, Natalie, I mean, not Natalie, Jared is like, I've been playing poker. I remember holidays and stuff, me playing, playing poker when I was like 10 years old. And she was like, who the fuck was my mother? Did she even care that I was gambling? I'm like, yeah. <laughs> maybe she didn't know, maybe she just didn't care. And Drita, you know, she's like, I love playing poker. You know, I, um... I'm the type of person that be talking shit all the time. I got to have my drink right there. I got to have my cigar. She's like, I don't have any business being a woman. <laughs> yes, Dre, the way you talk, you do not have any business being a woman. I, I completely agree with you on that one. So they're all laughing, joking. Big Ann just whooping everybody's ass. She like, I don't know the new Natalie, but as long as I'm taking her money, I love her. So, uh, afterwards, they, you know, Big Ann starts to tell them about the talk she had with Natalie D. Now, <laughs> she's like, well, Natalie said that you hacked her mother's Facebook uh, profile and gave him a picture. And Karen is like, I don't even know her mother. What are you talking about? Everybody's kind of laughing. I mean, everybody is looking like Big Ann. Now, come on. I know you like this girl, Natalie, I'm, but she looking like she got your mind fucked. Seriously. How are you going to, but like, that was just so crazy. When did Karen become a hacker? Okay, come on now. You just, that was embarrassing. You should have been embarrassed to say that. I love you, Big Ange, but no. No, no, no. Mm -mm. And then I see on, like, the next episode that 
Natalie D was supposedly talking shit about you and Drita, and you still ain't gonna accept it. Drita's like, I'm gonna fucking kill her. And you're, you you still can't accept it, huh? Girl, you, I don't know what she done done to you. But anyways, they're like, you know what? That is crazy. The, Nat the other Natalie chick is like, I'm the one that gave her the profile pic. Okay, I'm the one that gave it to her. It's in a fucking yearbook. So, they decide, uh, you know, they gonna all have a sit down with Natalie. Okay. So, hopefully it goes right, right? So, Karen getting ready. She putting that hair back in the ponytail. I said, I know what that's about. She probably should put it back in a bun. You know, so it can just be tighter and really stay out the way. They end up all going to the water side to meet up and talk about this shit. They all show up. You know, Drita's like, you know what? I'm done with this. I'm really getting, you know, I'm getting sick of this. I'm going to just do like I, you know, like they did when I got my ass. So she didn't say my ass beat, but when I was fighting a whole party of people. Okay, I'm going to just sit there and watch them, let them kill each other. Okay? So they're sitting there at the table. <laughs> Drita's like, you know what? They're going to fight, let them fight. That's the only way to do it. I say violence. Is the only answer. <laughs> I like Drita. This is horrible. You wouldn't tell your kids this, would you? But anyways, Drita is very entertaining. So all I can do is laugh at it. So Natalie gets there. Everybody's there. They wait on Natalie. So Karen instantly is like, "So Natalie, I'm a deadbeat mother." And now it's like, "Well." That's not how, that's not what I said. Everybody was going back and forth on Twitter. And, you know, you went and you hacked my mother's profile pic and you took a picture of a child and you made fun of it. Bitch, you're a grown woman now. Let's not do that with the we making fun of a child and shit like that. You're grown. Okay, you about 30. Let's not do this. They tell her that that was not true. That Natalie... Uh, what is it? D gave her the um gave Karen a profile pic. She was like, "But you were still wrong." And they are sitting there looking at her like, "Bitch, when you just gonna say that you're wrong? You keep making these excuses. You're wrong. This. You're wrong. That. No, you are wrong for bringing this child. I mean, this this lady's child into it, saying that she's a deadbeat and her family this and her family that you shouldn't if you got a problem with her let it be a problem with her like karen said you can call me a fat bitch you can call me miss piggy i don't care what you call me but when you start bringing my child into it then you crossing the line and now it's like well first of all your, your daughter's very pretty i would never say that the way you're seeing it is is completely different from how I put it, okay? I put that you were a deadbeat. And then Karen is like, but my daughter saw it. My daughter went on there and said, keep me and my mother's relationship out your fucking mouth. I'm like, ooh, okay. Your daughter said all that, Karen? She done been around her mom a little too much. So this chick Natalie is just constantly... You're wrong. She doesn't want to apologize for the shit she did. Like, and even Drita was like, look, Natalie, okay, you and Karen, y'all go back on Twitter and social network, whatever, going back and forth at each other. But you are the one that constantly hit below the belt. She was like, well, if you say something about me, I'm going to say something. And Renee is like, okay, I can't, I, you know, I tried to be quiet the whole time, but I can't do it. Why can't you just say that you're wrong? Because you are wrong. You never, you never take blame for it. And now it's like, me, you haven't even solved our issue. She was like, I don't even, I'm done with that, okay? I gave you thousands of chances to come to me, ring my doorbell, and apologize. You never did that. And Natalie, Natalie's like, you know what? I'll, I'll do that. And Renee's like, the fuck? And <laughs> Karen is sitting over there. All this bullshit that Natalie is just pouring out her mouth. Karen is just sitting there thinking about all the stuff that she said about her family, about her, how she's a rat, how her father's a rat, all kinds of shit. And Renee is sitting there talking to Natalie like, why don't you just 
take responsibility for once and say that you are wrong. You go too far. You don't quit. Something is something is wrong with you. You just do not stop. And Natalie's going to say, well, if you got a problem, then come at me. Karen, out of nowhere, remember y'all, Karen was not talking to Natalie. Karen was just sitting there. Karen flipped that damn table over. <laughs> And she just saw red. She was pulling Nally's hair and stuff like that. And Nally's pulling her hair. And I'm like, oh, my God. She's like, Karen's like, she loved her hair so much. She liked the way she looked. So I said, I make this bitch fall. They end up falling on the floor. Y'all wasn't completely dressed to fight with them heels on, okay? Karen, I know you trying to look cute, but you were still trying to be ready. But, you know, the heels, that ain't going to work when you trying to fight. Okay? You ain't going to be able to catch yourself. They end up falling. All the damn security guards break them up. Uh, Dred is trying to get in. She was like, I'm, I'm so pissed off. I just want to crack somebody's fucking head. Who head is you going to crack? I thought you was cool with Natalie and, you know, I'm caring for 20-some years. Who head are you going to crack? And... <laughs> The security guard's pulling you. She's like, get the fuck off of me. Get the fuck off of me. They end up splitting Natalie and Karen up. One of the security guards is laying on top of Karen. She's She rests for a minute, and she's like, get up off me. Get up. They trying to get Natalie away to get to the car. Natalie got blood on her face. Uh... She goes in the damn car mirror and starts licking her thumb and trying to clear all the blood off her face. And Karen is trying to find her. And she goes, like, through this plastic door. And Drita's like, Karen, no, it doesn't open. It doesn't open. And Drita's like, let Karen fight. Just let him fight, you know. You can't break up a fight. You just got to let him fight until the other person can't fight no more. And Karen's like, yeah, let me fight. Let me fight. But... Drita, I mean, not Drita, Karen ends up seeing Natalie. She's like, I'm going to kill her. And then that was it for that. So she didn't end up, you know, getting to her because all them security guards. Uh, Yeah, next episode, supposedly, Natalie has taken it, you know, going to talk about Drita and Big Ange. We'll see about that. We'll see how true that is. More than likely, she probably did. Um, but, you know, Big Ange ain't trying to hear it. But that's it for this episode, y'all. Like, share, comment, subscribe. Follow me on Twitter at JazzShop and 1K. Subscribe for Gift Giveaway. Y'all don't forget about that. You have to like, share, and subscribe. And uh, I'll see y'all next time. Thanks for watching.